Phrase syndrome presented to you by Medical Wizardry. Can you think of a condition where we get sweating in response to a salivary stimulus? Yes, it is phrase syndrome. This is a condition in which a gustatory stimulus produces flushing and sweating on the preauricular area. Damage to the auriculotemporal nerve, particularly secondary to parotid surgery, is the most notable initiating factor of the condition. The misdirected regrowth of the nerve fibers results in the parasympathetic innervation of the sympathetic receptors supplying the sweat glands located in the preauricular area. Apart from salivary gland surgeries, especially parotid surgeries, it can also occur in other surgeries, such as neck dissections, facelift procedures. It may also be found secondary to trauma, involving the head and neck, secondary to mandibular condylar fracture. Typically, the auriculotemporal nerve through its anterior auricular branches carries sympathetic fibers from the superior cervical sympathetic ganglion to innervate the sweat glands on the skin in the preauricular area. Additionally, through the parotid branches, it supplies the preganglionic parasympathetic secretomotor fibers to the parotid gland via the tympanic branch of the glossopharyngeal nerve, also known as Jacobson's nerve. Following the surgical trauma, parasympathetic nerves from the parotid branch regrow into the branches supplying the sweat glands in the preauricular area. Thus, when the patient experiences a gustatory stimulus that promotes salivation from the parotid gland, this invariably stimulates the sweat glands in the preauricular region to cause sweating. Now let us look at the treatment of Frey's syndrome. The go-to treatment is the intracutaneous injection of botulinum toxin. It is a safe and minimally invasive procedure with long-lasting effects. Application of anticholinergic drugs or an alpha adrenoceptor agonist is another treatment option. Invasive procedures like surgical transection of the auriculotemporal nerve, tympanic nerve, and greater auricular nerve have also been described for the management of Frey's syndrome. Alternatively, a sternocleidomastoid and temporalis fascia transposition have shown a significant reduction in the average surface area of gustatory sweating. Here's the quick question of this week in relation to Frey's syndrome. What is Miner's iodine starch test? Comment below if you know the answer. There's more to come every week. So stay tuned to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. And yeah, do share the video with your friends. Oh, and by the way, we do have a website with a lot of fun stuff. We'd be thrilled to have you at www.medicalwizardry.com. Until the next video, au revoir.